Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for part numero. I think we're on 15 of Let's Play The Sims for the Lux Life. So we have actually went ahead and finally gave Little Miss Cora a cute room, which I am actually really, really, really proud of and just love to pieces. Um, if you guys want to actually see the speed build or speed renovation of this, the link will be in the description. Um, below and you can kind of see how I came up with it and where you can get this gorgeous gorgeous custom content decor um, that's in her room right now so right now she's going downstairs and she's gonna eat a little bit and you know what oh my gosh you guys wait until Miss Carrera Berman wakes up you are literally not gonna believe the um, want she got in her um, whim little circle catcher things i don't know what the hell they're called but yeah she she's definitely down the um the the path of least resistance for sure she's tumbling and she's tumbling down quick like i don't even know how to explain what her logic is at this point but a lot of you thought um cora looks like hank and you know i i i truly do i yeah no i i definitely in my personal opinion, I think she looks a lot like Hank, too. I mean, Hank even has the same damn eye color. So explain to me how this little girl looks like Hank, but for some strange reason is connected to David. Like, David doesn't even have this freaking eye color, so I don't understand where she got it from i don't know if maybe somehow some way uh yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know the paternity test is lying i don't know what do you guys think she definitely looks like um hank's baby for sure but i guess we will never know Faye needs to get up she needs to go downstairs get ready for work we are going to go ahead and go on in and hopefully get ourselves a fancy dancy promotion today guess we're not gonna have time to go ahead and take a dump and eat but that's okay we can eat dump sleep and repeat on the job we're totally 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 good multitaskers for sure uh what else was i going to add to that so a lot of you are thinking that carrera needs to maybe find her way out of the household and, you know, have Faye kind of almost take responsibility or take, um, uh, take custody rather of, okay, we gotta check patient's ears and research health reports online. Um, take custody of Cora. And I've been thinking about that, you know, Carrera is just seriously on this path of like destruction and it's affecting Faye. Faye is starting to get to the point where she no longer has patience for it anymore. Um, and, and really wants to kind of almost start her own life. I totally thought that was Cora right there. Is it? No, it's, they're both wearing the same damn pajamas. That is so cute. We got Elena, Elena, and we've got Krista. So, no, she totally just, it, she's getting sick of her sister. You know what I mean? Like, she just feels like every time she turns around, Carrera is starting some sort of problems. And all Faye wants to do is live a productive life and and be happy and successful and she can't do that when she's worrying about her niece every like five seconds so i'm not exactly sure what she's gonna do she may even just suggest that Carrera go on her own for a little bit um and you know i don't know if they will try to try to keep the house as long as she can you know i i really i i don't know you know i really don't know um, we're gonna go and check the patient's ears. We've got a piece so bad. Hopefully we don't piss our scrubs. At least they're this kind of like cranberry color, so maybe nobody would know. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what's gonna happen with the girls. I don't know what's gonna happen with the Lux Life. Remember, it's just supposed to be a mini series. We're already in part 15, so I don't know how many this is possibly going to be, but um, we'll just kind of see on how how much you guys like it, and we'll go from there to see how long the episodes will be. But uh, I definitely think a life change will be happening quite soon. It looks like some serious bladder issues are going around town here. Uh, did you guys hear about the... Okay, I totally tweeted this and I'm so freaking excited. I could seriously crop my pants. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's this person um, working on... Uh, this mod where your Sims now can actually go to school, which 
I think is brilliant and we've needed this for quite a while now. So these sims, you can kind of, similar to how we've got, you have to have get to work that, that's the only downfall. So similar to how like these sims go for their work days, it's almost the same thing. You're gonna have tasks, things that you need to do during your school day. I just think it would be fun to really be able to develop the, the sims a little bit more and uh, character wise and, you know, kind of feel even more submersed in the game. And it's just not something I don't think was ever a possibility in the, the Sims 3. So I think that's really cool and awesome and I can't wait for it to come out because you guys, I am going to be so flippin' excited. I'll probably just have a heart attack right there and that'll be the end of it, but um, <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, I think a Sims VI, oh, what did you do, Poconos? Jeez, girl, you need to learn how to put where to put that swab. <laughs> That's what he said. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, Faye has successfully performed a practice. Test results seem valid. Okay. So I need to also deliver... Do we not swab her for a sample? I don't know if it worked, but we're going to go and try that one more time. Okay, so I think finally we got that, we got that swab um, situation fixed. So treat the patient... Give the llama flu. So somebody was saying, like, I'm not experienced enough to give medication. I'm giving medication right now. Um, I think it's more or less. Would you move your freaking whatever? I think it's more or less um, when this sim hasn't been diagnosed yet. And I have diagnosed a sim, I think, with Faye and treated her. But I'm not 100% sure. You don't need to... Um, be experienced I don't know you I, I don't know how experienced you need to be but I'm able to give her medication like I just treated her or delivered medication to her and that did not even show up so I'm, I'm a little confused maybe this oh treat with medication so maybe I'm maybe I'm not uh, able to treat with medication quite yet but I'm allowed to give the flu vaccination that's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. I know that I'm able to give uh, the medication if it's the right diagnosis. Who really even knows anymore? But let's go hand up. Poor Faye just wants to freaking munch on something. She went and snuck in a, a frozen dinner, which is not, if you know her, she doesn't really like to eat frozen dinners. But um, she had to eat something. She's freaking starving to death. So let's go and do these, uh, analyze the patient's sample really quick, see what we kind of come up with. Uh, okay, so the results, okay, 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 okay. Uh, the testing of Sylvia Richmond's tissues sample in the chemical analyzer, anal analyzer was successful, success, <laughs> my god, the results strongly indicate the presence of an infectious disease, she's got the squids, and Faye needs to go ahead and, uh, diagnose and treat, so... I think we got some more stuff we got to do here. Um, transfer the patient case. We need to log the results. Let's do that then. Let's go log those results. Log, log, log. I don't know what is up with me lately, but like I've been like stuttering over my words so hard lately, like tripping. I don't know. It's just one of those things, I guess. So Max is favored in a household. Uh, okay, so we need to transfer the patient case, swab sample. I think we've already swabbed this chick like a hundred times. But I am going to go and uh, I don't know if I want to transfer the case. I'll transfer a different patient case. So let's go get this kid in here, admit him to the bed. His name is Robert, Robble, Robert, see? There I go again. Robert, Robble. I mean, they are kind of funny. Robert Reynolds. Kind of sounds like Burt Reynolds a little bit. Maybe it's like his long lost grandson or something. I don't know what this dude is doing. He's just like standing here, just chilling like a villain. Uh, okay, so we need to uh, swab him, Mr. Robert Reynolds here, swab for sample, and then we can go ahead and, no, don't touch her. Are you trying to woohoo with her in the bed? It's kind of disgusting. Gilbert, Gil, wait a second. This actually might be his child, now that I'm thinking about it. Let me go and swap for sample here, and then I can transfer this patient case. I don't know if I get to pick which trans which case I want to transfer, but I don't think I can. So we're just going to have um, her transfer, just whatever case comes to mind. Okay, hopefully it is the Robert guy, but I'm not exactly sure. 
Uh, let me go ahead and check this chickadee's ears. No, I've already done this. Damn it! Would you stop talking to all my damn people? You're pissing me off. Gosh! Freaking trying to do my job and everybody else's job. But we still have to, um, no, 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 no. We still need to analyze this sample. And Faye actually wants to chat with Gil Gilberto and admire possession. So I'll have her kind of do both of those, I guess. All right, we have about, we've done horribly today, by the way. Uh, let's go ahead and stay late as usual. I don't know why we're doing so freaking bad. Maybe it's because I'm talking so much. I really, I don't know. So let's just focus a little bit more on what we're doing here. Uh, okay, let's go and admit Mrs. Mike. Oh my gosh, it's like his whole freaking family is in town. And I, I knew it's Caitlin again. She's always sick. I swear to you, it's those damn public schools. No, I'm just kidding, but she's always sick. Always. I do like that they keep like a fresh circulation of Sims, though. It's kind of a good way to meet new people. Uh, okay, so things that we need to do, we need to deliver that medication. Would you stop swiping at me, please? Thank you. I need to check your ears, make sure there's no potatoes in there. Okay, any rocks? Let's go ahead. Oh, no, and Faye is feeling sick, too. So we need to get her home and relaxed. So, uh, hold on. Let's just kind of speed on through here. I don't think her whims are going to show. She's off for two days, by the way. Two whole days, Mrs. Carrera. So she can get into a lot of damn trouble in those two days. So we need to check eyes and swab for sample. I need a promotion today, guys. I need a promotion. So, seriously, stop screwing up. I ain't got time for all this. I know you're freaking feeling sick, but you're just gonna have to get it together. Please! You're making me, like, have, like, a... Oh, my God, face. Seriously. It's because she... I think it's because of her... <laughs> oh, God, we're being watched. I think we're gonna get fired. It's because of her mood, I think, is why she's having such an issue with it. Okay, so I need to deliver medication to a, a, a patient. Now, I don't know if I can deliver... Oh, my gosh, no, I can't yet. Uh, okay. What about you? Um, is that my kid screaming? I don't know. We're going to go transfer the patient case here. Let's do that. No, he's not screaming, by the way. I would go, if <laughs> if it was serious, I wouldn't be sitting here. No, I just, he's just getting excited. I don't know what he's doing. He's playing in his room or something. Uh, okay, we transfer the patient case. We've got, ooh, we need to discuss general health with a sim. Let's do that. Maybe after this one, we will be able to go ahead and, and treat her. I don't know. I don't exactly know how this all works. I think we could. No, we can treat her with the the bloaty headshot which we'll go ahead and do so then she's feeling better and she's out of my freaking hair uh the last thing i don't think we're gonna have time oh yeah no crap all right so we didn't earn that freaking promotion because i'm gonna go home and just strangle her locks i'm gonna rip out her hair and extensions and take them back to sally's because this chick is making me freaking screw up at work <gasps> seriously she's going to be the death of me the death of me the death of me yet like i'm not even exaggerating so, I don't know. I would really like to see Faye kind of take Cora under her wing and GTFO, if you will. Um, but we'll see how that goes. And it looks like, yeah, Faye did fumble while trying to get Michaela Reynolds. Um, I'm just reading this. Her sample. So, oh, and then I see this. Like, how can I take Cora from Carrera? When this is happening behind my back. So look at this. She wants to flirt with Zane. Yeah, flirt. I know. All right. So I don't know what you all think about the whole Hank situation. But as for the terms of getting a settlement, we are actually going to go visit Mr. Are we, are we sick? No, we're not sick. We're going to actually go and visit... Um. David, yeah, we're going to go visit him and discuss whether or not he is going to be in Carrera's life. I think a sum of, I would say, 200K, I got a couple suggestions for 200K, is um, a pretty good a pretty good amount, I think, uh, because he is rich. He is a millionaire, by the way, if you guys don't know. Uh, I think you, I think I've already told you guys that. But yeah, he's a millionaire. So he has like a lot 
a lot, a lot of dinero. And just kind of the whole having a child out of wedlock situation and just, you know, the, the Collins household name, it just doesn't sit well with the Collins brothers. So unfortunately, him, you know, taking care of her um, is not is not going to be something he's interested in for the simple sa- uh, simple sack simple sack that she's been yeah she's been getting a lot of people in her sack mm-hmm, yeah okay but uh, oh we didn't even knock we just walked right through uh what how do you go inside and knock from the inside all right so this is have we been here before I think we have but this is what their house looks like and uh, David is here I am telling you you guys. I don't know. I mean, I am pretty freaking positive that this girl is not his child. It just, I mean, well, actually, when you kind of, when you kind of put it like that, it, it does look like her a little bit, right? I don't know. I don't understand what's happening here. Anyway, let's go upstairs and try to talk to him really quick we're gonna pitch a story idea we want the two hundred thousand, and if he doesn't give it to us tonight we will sleep with his brother again no um we will definitely have to go and do an more invasive measures but look at his freaking house like you can tell he's loaded so i want the two hundred thousand dollars for my daughter you will give them to me and you will give them to me right now do you agree okay so what we're going to do is we are going to get to 200 grand from him, um, which is awesome because, like, as you can see, we kind of need the money uh, right now. And I don't know what she's going to do from there. So let's go ahead and get that 200,000. We're going to use the mother load cheat four times. OK, so I went ahead and just put the money in our account off camera because it was getting way too hard to talk and figure out what the hell I was doing at the same time. So as I was saying, the only downfall to getting the settlement is that we cannot contact David, period, until Cora is an adult. So she wants to seek him out. Um, when she's older, she can't until she's an adult. So she may have some resentment towards Mrs. Carrera here as she gets older that her mom took the money versus trying to fight for her dad to be in her life. So pretty much as we know it, David and I are nothing anymore, even though we have this relationship still. Um, the feelings will probably always be there, but because of this un unexpected pregnancy, that is pretty much all that she wrote. We are not going to continue on with him by any means. So at least, you know, at the end of the day, Carrera did actually end up getting the settlement, which is perfect. You know, now we're not in um, we're not in a situation where we're going to lose our house. But definitely we need to um, kind of work on. Uh, finding ways to make money in order to keep the house. I mean, gosh, we have like 20, I don't know, like 20 weeks or something like that before, or like 10 weeks um, before we would technically go broke uh, owning this house. But I mean, I'm sure at some point, you know, we'll move and we'll, we'll get a new place or something, you know, cause I'm obviously like, you know, getting tired of living here, but uh, for now we have the money and that makes things a lot easier. Um, I'm actually going to go just dispose of this dead plant right now. And let me see how she's feeling. So, um, we do need to have three. Yeah, we know we have all of these. So why can't I, uh, did I get level? I mean, am I like at the top of, did I like completely, I don't understand. Did I completely do the whole entire cereal room? Okay. No, I need to kiss 10 Sims. Um, all right, so she's going to go be a little more promiscuous. Since she's got the money, uh, we're going to go and give her just like a super duper quick freaking makeover. And we're going to go out to the club. Yep, we're going to go out to the club tonight. We're going to totally leave Cora in the dust. So messed up, <clears throat> but we're going to do it. We need to go out. Now, is there any any doubt in my mind that she doesn't love Cora? No, I know she loves her daughter, but at the same time, I just know that Carrera is dealing with a lot of her own demons and things of that sort that prevent her from being the mother that we all know she could be if she actually put her freaking mind to it. She could be an amazing mother, but instead she's too busy slutting it up around town and um, being, you know, a little a little promiscuous, I guess you could say. Like, she really, 
I don't know. I don't know what to do with her. She kind of looks like Carly right now, especially with this hair. So I'm going to go and put her in a couple different things here. Um, I don't know what I want to give her in terms of like her makeup, but we'll just stick with what she was wearing. I'm going to give her some eyeliner. Obviously, I love eyeliner. I'm loving the um, Praline Sims wing, I, Praline Sims wing eyeliner with the uh, lashes. So super freaking pretty in game. I love them. Uh, and let's give her some uh, lips. I'm going to go with these overdrawn ones that I'm like in, obsessed with. These more nude toned ones. And then for her eyes, we're going to go and give her these smoked um, eyeshadow colors. And I'm going to give her this kind of contour uh, sort of situation going on. I don't know if I want to keep her hair like that or like this. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what kind of blonde I want her either. I uh, kind of like this one, to be honest. But the hair in her face was really freaking pretty. Mm, she's kind of more of a platinum blonde. Maybe we can do this. Okay. This is really super duper freaking messy bun. All right. We'll stick with that. So for the earrings, actually, I don't even know what kind of outfit she's going to wear. I want to give her uh, maybe like one of these jumpsuit sort of deals. Like something super duper 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 promiscuous. Um, and obviously kind of pink and girly. Do I have anything? I've got like this nude sort of ensemble here. We'll go with that. Um, her tots are kind of saggy. <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, I'm not one to zog, but I mean, like they're kind of drooping a little bit. You know what I mean? See your tots hang low. Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over the shoulder? Can you hit somebody's nose? Do your tots hang low? The world we may never know. I don't know. That was just, wow, Jen, you really went, went all out. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I just, yeah. I don't know more, no more comments. So let's, just, let's just pretend that did not happen. So I'm going to give her some freaking bright, hot pink nails. And what other kind of accessories can we give this girl? Uh, probably, ooh, I like these, like, beads sort of dealio. Uh, we'll stick with white accessories. Now for her um, face... Uh, let's do, um, this is actually so freaking pretty for like a funeral or something. I love that. Um, you might be wearing that to your own if you keep it being the way that you are, Missy. I don't know what kind of earrings I want to give her these ones. Um, we can just do pearls since, I mean, I need a freaking pearl necklace. Like if you all know of a good CC pearl necklace, like something kind of like that, but not really. Um, let me know. Actually, I kind of like this for now anyway. So, Maybe we'll stick with this one. I like that. I actually really like her her outfit, to be honest. The hair's a little questionable, but everything else looks pretty good. You know, she's kind of, I mean, she's definitely dressed a little promiscuously. Um, or more promiscuous than, than normal, but she she looks pretty a little more classy too at the same time. Not as not as um youthful as her other outfits typically are, but we're gonna go out for a little swing on the town and who knows what could happen i think i really think she's gonna lose her ish remember she wants to flirt with zane now i don't know what would happen in that aspect but uh god all i know all i know is that if i was Clara berman and i flirted with zane and um uh it was found out about by faye she would be homeless. <laughs> okay, we would be doing the homeless challenge real quick. All right, so let's see where we can go. I really like this club here. I mean, we haven't been to a club in the game for ages now because of Cora. And now that she's not pregnant anymore and Cora's a little bit older, she feels like she can kind of do this stuff again. Which, you know, yes, when you're an adult and you have kids, you are obviously able still to go out and do whatever you want to do. But, you know, your main priority should be your child and at her point in life she just she can barely take care of herself so if it wasn't for this money i don't really know what would we would be looking at so here we are i don't know who is here it actually looks like looks like zane is here which is very um fitting by z way uh all right well you know i mean it is what it is so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we can ask for a small loan are you serious we're gonna go we're going to go ask for a small loan. I'm dead serious. Let's go. Let's do it. 
Uh, if I can ask him again, let's try this one more time. I was able to, like, freaking two seconds ago. Okay, so let's go ask for a small loan. Not that we even need the money, and he's supposedly broke as it is, but, I mean, we're just going to go ask him anyways. All right. He kind of reminds me of Muggsy just a little bit. I know somebody's going to be like, why did you say that? But it's kind of true, and I don't know why she wants to flirt with him, but here we are. He is so freaking hot. Uh-uh, he is like, no way am I giving you a loan. Why would I do that? Um, okay, I'm going to ask if he's single, which obviously we know that he's not. But I want to see if maybe he'll deny her or not. We'll see. I'm also going to go give him a little... You know what? No, I'm not going to go give him a floor. I need to be drunk first. Uh, let me go and uh, make a drink. We can tend the bar. Let's see if there's uh, anybody at the bar upstairs. Because I know that... There's no one. Oh, my God. Look who's here. Michael. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I thought this was D. Oh, my God. But he is. Oh, he. Ooh. Ah. And ooh. Ow, ow, ow. Look at these guys. Like, seriously. Look at these men. Okay. They are popping bottles. Popping bots. Holes. I'm going to go have Carrera say, see you later. Gator, you can sit there and think about your grilled cheese all that you want. You didn't give me a loan. Well, we're going to go upstairs. And we are going to go flirt with these hot boys. Super hot. Like, who are you? I don't care. <laughs> hey, you checking me out, boo thing. Kind of remind me of David. So, and he has a wedding ring on. Awkward encounter. Yeah, but he liked it. So, it's kind of whatever. I'm also going to come over here and give this dude a flirty introduction. Because that's just how I roll. He is flipping cute so cute actually really 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 like seth um like a lot so i i know that we need to kiss like 10 different sims but we gotta work somewhere first right so i mean i don't know what's going on with this chick but being promiscuous and being kind of you know outgoing in a sense is not outgoing even but just kind of being this way is, seems to be her her thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm kind of excited to see where the um, story unfolds and what happens next. Seth is actually indie in indeed. He isn't. No, he is indeed single. And so therefore, ooh, why don't you go sit down next to him? So hitting on him and kind of, you know, being flirtatious or whatever the case may be isn't going to be a crime. And why the hell are you sitting next to him? Okay. Even though you might be a little, a little, a little damn piece, this is my piece. And now he doesn't like me. Gosh darn it. All right, because she's coming on way, way, way too strong. Oh my goodness. Okay, do a smooth recovery. He is handsome, though. Uh, I do wonder what his career is. Oh, you shot me right through the heart. Um, let me go see what his career is. I'm a male stripper. Are you now? Uh, he is a painter. Wow. He is a painter. Isn't that something? All right, let me go see what Michael, Michael's career is real quick. I'm just trying to, you know, scope out the hello. <laughs> He's an entertainer at the Limelight. And what are you about, boo-boo? I'm going to give this dude a friendly introduction. Like, literally, we're just going to meet a whole bunch of... Oh, my goodness gracious. Look who's here. Hank Sanchez is here. Um... And he's been watching us flirt the entire time. Now, pause. Um, no, really, the pause. Look at this. Oh, he has gray eyes, too. I'm telling you, he freaking looks like her. Look at that. I don't know. I'm so confused. I, I've, I, usually, you can tell when a kid looks like the dad, but this time, I really can't tell who the heck Cora looks like. Like, I just can't. So, let me see if we got with... Or got to know those guys that we were talking to. So we got Michael here. We got Seth. Uh, we got Zane, obviously. And then Luca, which is the other dude that we just... I'm pretty sure this is Luca. Luca Carlson. And then there is Hank. So Hank has been patiently watching Carrera over here. And obviously she's a little embarrassed because she now realizes her boyfriend sees the kind of type of woman she is. Hank has been patient for quite a long time. He's been by her side through thick and thin. And I think, I think in about the next part, he's going to go ahead and let her know how he really feels about her indiscretions. So 
What do you think should happen? Let me know in the next part of The Sims 4, The Lux Life. How do you think this should go down? Should we play Hank and give the breakup of a lifetime? Or should Hank stay with Carrera, even through her infidelity? Stick by her side and help raise Cora? Or do you have some other sort of master plan on how basically karma should bite her in her camel skin culito? I don't know. Let me know. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Don't forget to go ahead and comment. <laughs> Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.